Four RMU football players were involved in an incident back in January that resulted in criminal charges. Sophomore Brian Jones and senior Adrian Perez learned their legal fates today. Jones and Perez's trials took place here in a very chilly downtown Coriopolis at the Magisterial District Judge's office. Both pled guilty and they were both summary trials, so only the athletes, the police officer from RMU, and the judge were involved. Five campus police officers were called to Lower Salem on January 26th at 2 in the morning. They opened the apartment to find a mass of RMU students running around. When they tried to control the crowd, they were met by threatening motions, particularly from RMU football defensive back Brian Jones. By the end of the fiasco, Jones was arrested and charged with underage drinking and disorderly conduct. When it was his turn to speak, Jones disagreed with the officer, saying that he did not insult the police or refuse a PBT. He even went as far as to say he was not drinking. However, the sophomore did admit that he damaged furniture in the apartment. An RMU campus police officer said today that Jones resisted officers and had to be wrestled to the ground before being handcuffed. Jones also spouted insults at the officers, calling them, quote, cracker cops, and refused to take a breathalyzer test. Adrian Perez's trial was held immediately after Jones's. The RMU officer explained that on the same night, Perez came into the campus police station to get Jones and teammate Kimani Smith. Because of the aggressive way he acted towards officers, he was charged with disorderly conduct. Perez also insulted several officers, calling them punks and saying one officer was mad because he had, quote, little man syndrome. The guilty verdict comes in addition to a one-year suspension from the RMU football program for Jones. Perez received no team punishment as he is a graduating senior. From Coriopolis, Pennsylvania, I'm Haley Sawyer, Colonial Sports Center.